Nobody really knows how the world and the job market would look like in 2040. Hence, nobody knows what to teach young people today. Consequently, it is likely that much of what you currently learn at school will be irrelevant by the time you're 40. So what should you focus on? My best advice is to focus on developing your mental balance and your emotional intelligence. Traditionally, life has been divided into two main parts, a period of learning followed by a period of working. In the first part of your life, you build a stable identity and acquired personal and professional skills. In the second part of life, you relied on your identity and skills to navigate the world, earn a living and contribute to society. But by 2040, this traditional model will become obsolete. And the only way for humans to stay in the game will be to keep learning throughout their lives and to reinvent themselves again and again, even at the age of 50. Yet change is usually stressful. And after a certain age, most people don't like to change. When you're 10 years old, your entire life is changed, whether you like it or not. Your body is changing, your mind is changing, your relationships are changing. Everything is in flux. You're busy inventing yourself. By the time you're 50, you don't want change. You want stability. But in the 21st century, you won't be able to enjoy that luxury. If you try to hold on to some stable identity, some stable job, some stable worldview, you will be left behind and the world will fly by you with a whoosh. So people will need to be extremely resilient and mentally balanced to sail through this never-ending storm and to deal with very high levels of stress. Well, do we as human beings have the mental stability and the emotional intelligence necessary to reinvent ourselves repeatedly? And you know, when you're 20, what you're doing is basically to invent yourself for the first time. And it is very difficult. When you're 30, it's even more difficult, but you somehow do it. But when you get to be 40, 50, 60, it becomes more and more difficult. You have more to let go of. I've invested so much in building this career, this personality, these skills. To give it all up and start again from, from a new, it's so difficult. If in the past, education was like building a stone house with very deep foundations, now I would say that education is more like uh, constructing a tent that you can fold up and move to another location very quickly and easily.